think it's prudent to start with numbers. So in 2022, we saw 93,000 transactions happen in the whole of Dubai with a value of 265 billion dirhams, which is actually a record from 2020, uh, sorry, 2002. So the question I was asked was, um, was I surprised with how the market performed in 2022? And, and I wasn't. I wasn't at all. I think we're, at, we're currently at 3.55 million as a population. Sheikh Mohammed's vision for 2040 is to be at 5.8 million, uh, 5.8 million people, sorry. And last year, I believe there was only 27,000 houses handed over. So as you can see, the ratio doesn't go. And not only that, we have seen a significant increase in foreign investment. As a company, generally over the last, probably the last 14 years since we've, um, we've formed, we've seen the same um, nationalities be one, two, and three in terms of buying, but we've seen in the last 12 months a lot of um, a lot of French come to the market. We've seen a lot of Russians come to the market. We've seen a multitude of other nationalities as well. And I think what they have done, they've seen an opportunity here. From my point of view, I think what will happen over the course, let's start with the, the first, let's say the first couple of years. Um, for me, supply and demand plays a massive part in Dubai. Last year, we only saw 27,000 houses hand over from the developer, and we're currently at 3.55 million people as a population. Over the course of the next 20 years, we're looking to increase that population, or Sheikh Mohammed is looking to increase that population by five or two, 5.8. With that, obviously, they need to, to live somewhere. So the developers at the moment, you look at the master developers, Imar, Nikhil, Dubai Properties, the level of product that they are um, producing at the moment is, is exceptional. It's unlike I've seen since I've been here. And like I say, going back to the supply and demand, Dubai is, is a place, it's buoyant. The, the lifestyle people want to be a part of, and that will only bode well for how this market performs. So I get asked the question all the time, what's the difference about all shop and all shop? For me, the culture, the people, and without sounding too cliche, the whole atmosphere of what we have. And again, it's a family business. The guys who own the company, Lewis, Carl and Gary, the father and two sons. And we like to think as the business, as a family. For me, it's so important for everyone who, because when they come over from, from wherever they live, whether it be the UK, the US, anywhere in Europe, they're leaving their families. So for us to have and integrate all of our team members into a family feel is, is so important for me. The guys who own the company for me are visionaries as well. Um, they're visionaries, they think outside the box. They're never standing still. They're always moving forward and looking for it to implement, whether it be new technology, whether it be um, improving the culture, whatever it may be, it's always, in my opinion, it's for the staff. Now I've been here for 14 years and 14 years, it felt like five minutes because it's something that I love to do, it's something that I enjoy. Every single day is different, and that, again, is down to the whole culture of our company, whether it be the staff, whether it be our administration team, the guys who make our coffee every single day. There's a smile on everyone's face, and hopefully we have we implement when people come through the door, we have that family feel. And I wanted to, be, uh, I wanted to maintain like that because at the end of the day, we have... 20 something um, people who, or sorry, guys who are 20, 30, 40 years of age and are leaving the family, some, in some cases, leaving their sons and their daughters. So to have that place to come to work, that sanctuary where you can, yes, you're coming to make a life for yourself, but you also feel comfortable. That is so, so important for me. 